Did you know that plants can grow without soil? Yes, you heard that right. Welcome to the world of hydroponics. This isn't some science fiction fantasy, folks. It's a real and practical way to cultivate plants, and it's called hydroponics, a method of growing plants in a nutrient-rich water solution rather than traditional soil. You might be wondering, why grow plants without soil? Well, the answer might surprise you. With hydroponics, plants grow faster and use up to 95% less water than traditional farming. Plus, it's a great way to grow fresh, healthy produce right in your own home, no matter the weather outside. And the best part? You can do it all without getting your hands dirty. So, are you ready for a bit of green thumb wizardry? So, how about we dive into the journey of a beginner building their first hydroponic system? Imagine you're a beginner, eager to start your hydroponic journey. First thing first, you'll need a shopping list. So let's dive into the exciting world of hydroponics and discover the materials you'll need for building your very own deep water culture, or DWC system. Now this might seem like a lot, but don't worry, it's all pretty straightforward. Your first port of call is a storage container or bucket. This is going to be the heart of your system, the reservoir where your plant's roots will be submerged in nutrient-rich water. But wait, how will the plant stay afloat? Well, that's where net pots come in. Choose the ones that best fit the size of your container's lid. These pots will hold your plants in place while allowing their roots to reach the water below. Next on your list is an air pump with an air stone. This little gadget will keep the water oxygenated ensuring your plants don't drown. Remember, plants need to breathe too. Now let's talk about nutrients. Your plants will need hard water liquid nutrients. Why hard water you ask? Because it's packed with the essential minerals your plants need to thrive. To keep everything in balance, you'll also need pH down and a pH meter. These will help you control the acidity of your water, creating the perfect environment for your plants. Last but not least, add a measuring beaker, pipettes, a hole saw with an arbor and a drill to your shopping list. These tools will come in handy when setting up and maintaining your system. There you have it, your shopping list is complete, you're now ready to embark on your hydroponic adventure. And remember every great journey begins with a single step, or in this case a single trip to the store. So, with your shopping list ready, you're set to start building your hydroponic system. You've got your materials now what? It's time to roll up your sleeves and start assembling. First up, let's find a suitable container. This could be a storage container or a bucket. Something sturdy that can hold our nutrient-rich water and our plants. Once we have that, we're going to drill some holes in the lid. These are for our net pots which will house the roots of our plants and allow them to reach the water below. Now, you're probably wondering how do the plants get oxygen if their roots are submerged in water? Well, that's where our air pump comes in. We're going to assemble this next, attaching the air stone to it. This little device will create bubbles in our water, ensuring our plants get the oxygen they need to thrive. Once we have our air pump set up, we're going to fill our reservoir with water. But not just any water. This water needs to be rich in nutrients to feed our plants and help them grow strong and healthy. We'll add our hard water liquid nutrients, ensuring we get the measurements just right with our measuring beaker and pipettes. And last, but certainly not least, we need to monitor our pH levels. This is where our pH meter comes in. We'll test the water and if the pH is too high, we'll add some pH down to bring it to the optimal level for plant growth. Voila, you've assembled your hydroponic system. But wait, it's not complete without the main stars, the plants. Now comes the exciting part adding the plants to your newly built hydroponic system. This is where all your hard work begins to pay off, and your system starts to literally come to life. So, what are the best plants to introduce to your deep water culture or DWC system? Well the beauty of hydroponics is that you can grow an array of plants but some definitely thrive better than others. Lettuce, kale and chard are superb choices for beginners due to their relatively low maintenance and fast growth. If you're a fan of Asian cuisine, Bok choy is a great addition, and for the herb enthusiasts, basil and parsley are your best bets. Now that we've picked out our green contenders, it's time to introduce them to their new home. But how do we do that? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Firstly, you'll want to ensure that your plant's roots are clean. Rinse them gently under a tap to remove any remaining soil. Then, place your plants in the net pots that you've already set up in your system. The roots should dangle through the netting reaching towards the nutrient-rich water in your reservoir. Once all your plants are comfortably nestled in their net pots, it's time to fill up your reservoir with water and nutrients. But remember, the water level should not submerge the whole root system, just enough for the roots to sip what they need. And voila! You've successfully added plants to your hydroponic system. 
as they say from tiny seeds mighty trees grow or in this case from humble beginnings mighty salads grow and there you go your plants are ready to grow but that's not the end of your journey now it's all about maintaining your system but don't worry we'll cover that in the next part of this guide stay tuned you might think i've built my system my job is done but actually the real fun begins now now that you've got your hydroponic system up and running it's time to show it some love and care just like a pet your hydroponic system needs regular checkups and maintenance to ensure it's in tip-top shape so what does maintaining a hydroponic system entail well gather around folks let's dive right in first off keep a keen eye on the water level your plants are like little fish they need to be submerged in water to survive if the water level drops too much the roots of your plants could dry out and we don't want that do we next on our checklist is the ph level now you might be thinking i'm a gardener not a scientist but don't worry it's not as complicated as it sounds a simple ph meter can help you keep track you want to aim for a ph between 5.5 and 6.5 this is the sweet spot where most nutrients are most available to plants now speaking of nutrients your plants need food to grow remember that nutrient rich water we talked about you're going to want to top up your water with these nutrients regularly this is your plant's lifeline their breakfast lunch and dinner all in one last but not least cleanliness is key your reservoir isn't a swimming pool it's a dining hall for your plants so every 14 to 21 days take some time to clean it out this prevents any unwanted guests like algae or pathogens from crashing your plant's dinner party with proper maintenance you'll see your plants thriving in no time isn't that exciting congratulations on becoming a hydroponic gardener so there you have it a journey from a hydroponic beginner to a hydroponic gardener we've covered everything from the basics of hydroponics to the shopping list of materials to the steps of assembling your very own deep water culture system and finally how to maintain it remember lettuce kale chard bok choy basil and parsley are some of the best crops to grow in your new setup not only have we embarked on an exciting diy project but we've also taken a step towards a more sustainable future with hydroponics you can grow your own food right at home using less water and space than traditional gardening it's a win-win situation for you and our planet so what's next well it's up to you explore experiment and share your hydroponic adventures remember every great gardener started as a beginner thank you for joining this exciting journey if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe for more amazing content happy hydroponic gardening